Hey everybody, my name is Carl and thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're gonna take a deep dive into Effectrix 2 by the great folks at Sugarbytes. Now I'm really excited about this. It's a really creative plugin and it's fun to use and the results will surprise you every time. Now it is an effect sequencer, uh, so it's fairly familiar. You can see by looking at it, it comes with a list of really creative effects that you can choose when they occur in this grid system. Let's take a listen to our session. Here is an example of our original audio. Okay, I'm playing this from a waveform. And let's turn on Effectrix 2 and check out a preset I created. So as you can see, and here. It's just going to help you solve a lot of workflow issues already. Because traditionally, if you were to create effects like this, you would have to go in and individually find certain inserts of plugins that you want and create a signal chain. Well, all of that is made easy for you here in Effectrix 2 in this workflow environment. So let's dive right in. Now, by looking at it, let's clear this. I created a preset here called Clean Start, so we can get started with. Up here, it's basically divided into four main sections. We have the header, obviously right here, you can click on the logo to get some information and access the manual, always handy. Plus you can change the colors, you can assign different colors to the effects themselves if you wanna customize them that way. You also have your presets. I believe it comes with about 400 presets to help get you started. And you can see I've already started creating some of my own here. Now there are global presets, but also down here in the effects uh, where you can, you can actually control your effects, you have a separate preset just for those too, as you can see. So you can save just presets for your effects parameters or a global preset for all of your work here within Effectrix. Very, very streamlined, very easy to use. And here you can have different, here, let's check this out. You can have different settings, up to 12 of them, that you can access with these keys. And of course, this can all be MIDI mapped, in case you were wondering, you read my mind right there. Let me go back to my clean start. Here we go. Uh, then you've got the different kinds of processing. Obviously, you got linear, equal power, wet dry, and wet only for your output undo, redo, and a swing feel if you wanted to change the feel of the performance playback. And then of course, your settings here, which I think is always one of the first places I always check out. All right, now next you also have selection for your host or to play it back manually. You've got your spacing and you can choose how the effects are looped back. Do you wanna just loop one measure of the effects or you can go up to 30, two here. Let's show you an example of that. If I wanted to just do some ring modulation for the first three beats and then vinyl here and vinyl there, check it out. And if I wanted to increase that, double it, I can drag this out and then to have a little bit of fun, we'll do tone, 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 and tone. So you can see how easy it is. Once you get the flow of how things work here in Effectrix 2, you can start getting some really creative results quickly and easily. And to remove any of these, I could just right click at any time, okay? Which brings us to obviously the whole sequencer part. Now, this is your sequencer. You've got a number of effects here that you can turn on and off by toggling the little white buttons right there. Now I find that I leave them all on. You see that in my performance here, it really isn't doing much to my computer, but if you're having an issue, you could always deactivate them. Maybe try it out that way. I don't know, I haven't had a problem like that, but you can deactivate and activate them if you want. And let's talk about these. So as you can see, you can choose your loop range up to 32 here. And you also have this magic wand. Check it out as I select it. You can randomize, clear, copy, and paste settings and reset the effect order. If I just choose randomize, 
I love it. It's just going to automatically generate <laughs> some effects here in the sequencer to get started. That's really pretty. This is a great way to expose yourself to thinking out of the box when you're working with Effectrix 2. Randomizing, it sometimes can really help you think in ways that you maybe, you know, haven't tried before. For example, if you notice that this reverb section right here, let me see if I can get right to it. Right here, ready? Right there. Now, if you select on the node section, you can see that some parameters now show up for it and the reverb settings are available here too for you to now begin adjusting the parameters for that reverb. That sounds really amazing. It has like this cascading musical effect there. So by checking out some of the presets and <clears throat> using the randomize, you can really help jumpstart your creativity. And if there's something you like, you could keep it or you could just right click on it and remove it, come up to save as and start creating your own bank of user presets. All right, so let's go back to clean start here and let's talk about the effects now. Now, obviously we have two loopers, looper A and looper B. And if you notice that each one right across has a separate contextual menu with these three dots right here, clear, you can just randomize any like if i just wanted to randomize a looper i could just do that individually on an effect by effect basis and not globally like we did with the magic wand there uh, then there's looper b which is slightly different i think it allows you to have dedicated control over playback speed while looping let's randomize that I mean, that's awesome. Nice. And we can clear it. Uh, grain. Uh, it's... Uh, this is really interesting. It uses small overlapping parts uh, of the signal, resulting in time stretching and pitch shifting. Let's do an example of that. Very cool. Uh, ring, obviously, if you're familiar with that, it's a ring modulation effect. Let's uh, quickly do one of those. <laughs> and vinyl, one of my favorites, of course. Uh, it's a vinyl effect. Uh, so let me see. First two parameters are used to create a classic vinyl start-stop sound, for example. Let's see what it automatically generates for us. <laughs> it really is one of my favorites. Now, if you're using this in a live setting and playing it back, you're triggering this with a controller, just think about the potential here. Keep that in mind. All right, and next effect, we have Spectrum. Uh, let's see, it effect provides delay, uh, effect up to 32 delay lines. That is really, really, really powerful, but it does a little bit more than that. Let me stretch that out a little bit more. I want to hear more of that. It really does change, but adds a lot more what I like to call ear candy. Uh, tonalizer creates multiple delays, turning tune to musical notes. I do think that I've had a lot of good luck with this one. Let's see. There it is. Here. In the assignment section, you can choose the note right here. Let's go back to D. So you can tune it specifically. And then of course, crush if you really want to crush something. Check it out. And next we have filter. Now this is kind of what uh, Sugar Bites is famous for uh, their filter technology. Let's randomize that. All 
I'm gonna do something here for you. We'll get more into the assignment here in a little bit. I just wanted to get that in for those following along here. Phaser, obviously, phaser technology. I love it. It's like a combination flange and chorus. And then modulation, of course. Let's see here that. And with great power comes great responsibility and a whole lot of fun. Delay. As you can see, keep in mind, as I mentioned before, every time you affect, you select one of these effects, down here in the effects control panel reflects the parameters for you to adjust those settings. All right, watch as I select reverb now. The effects control panel now gives me all the parameters for that reverb right there. It's a beautiful sounding reverb too. We'll get more into that in a minute. And of course, level, uh, which speaks for itself. You can control the amplitude of your sound. So there's a lot of effects here, which you can now use in combination. Watch this, if I come up here and hit randomize and randomize, and let's bring this out to there. Uh, let's do some randomizing. Look how easy it is. Now, yes, I am exaggerating this quite a bit for effect here, but a little does go a long way. The more time you spend with this, the more natural it's gonna to feel to use. That's what happened to me, because obviously the effects are very powerful. And just imagine how it would sound on different types of tracks. And I'll do that example for you in a second. But I wanna get down to the assignment mode here. Let me open up one of my presets that I really like. Yeah, here's a really good one. Okay, now you can see I am using, if you're following along, Looper A. I have Looper A here, here, and here. And let me select that. You can see that right down here, our parameters, effect parameters, adjusting that. Plus, you have the assignment area, where if you select the nodes, represent that effect in that area. Think of it as graphically down here. Here would be Looper B parameters and spectrum parameters. Let me go back to Looper B. And down here, you can choose if you just want a raw value or any kind of transformation effect here. Uh, we have envelope followers, LFO sine wave, squares, triangle, sawtooth, random. Let's pick one of these. Let's choose the LFO sine again. And now you can actually contour this. You can adjust the timing and speed and really change the effect. Let me deactivate that. Here's before. And here's after with the assignment mode now set to LFO sign. So cool. Now you also notice if I go all the way to the right here, we have link set. If I unlink this, then we can actually have individual parameters for each one of the nodes that we create representing the effects. You can link them to make them all equal or unlink them to make them independent. Yes, it only gets better. There. Now, let's talk a little bit about some other effects here. Let's see what we have. Oh yeah, let me get into this now. You can see that I mentioned earlier that we have these 12 keynotes up here. What does that mean? It means that we can have 12, not only one group of specific uh, pattern programmed of effects, but I can have multiples of them and I can play them back if I want. On this preset that I created, CL Looper AB4 bar, it also includes these settings, these settings, and these settings, and I can play through them individually. Check it out. Oh. 
<laughs> Isn't that cool? So I definitely recommend, again, that when you create some parameters that you really enjoy, just save it. It's so easy. Just come up here, choose save, and it automatically goes into the Effectrix 2 user bank here. As you can see, just scroll down, and here's my user, and these are my presets that I've created already. Uh, so it is really easy to use and super cool. Let's go to one of our effects, for example, and we could talk about our effects section. As I mentioned before, yes, this is where you would control the individual effects. And to get them, just simply select on the effect itself or on the node that you created. And underneath them, for example, under reverb, uh, you could choose a preset for those. You could scroll through different presets for the reverbs. So you can have presets just for the effect settings and presets for everything globally. Listen to how beautiful that is. All right, let's go through some more. A gentle reverb. Let's go to our delay and let's drag a note in there. Select this. And let's change this up. Oh, just love that. I'm actually going to add, you know, if you just want to loop that here, I'm going to set my loop range now. And again, you can see what's going on here. I have different uh, delays going on. If you select the actual, if you select the label for the effects, you can have more parameters to choose from. I can go milliseconds, sync 16, sync all, sync plane. Here under cutoff, I could choose a low pass, a high pass, or even comb. And here under delay left, I get the same parameters there. This is for all of them. Check it out under feedback, uh, for modulation, flange, flange or chorus, sine, triangular, quadratic. I mean, so don't forget, even though it looks like a label in the effects control zone, if you hover over it, it actually is a contextual button that gives you further parameters. So do keep that in mind. If you want to get more out of your effects control, then the labels often, when you hover over them, it turns a little bit to a light grayish. And there you go. All right, let's try this on another track here. I'm going to mute this and let's open up our piano track. All right, let's open up Effectrix 2 and you can see we've got a clean start here. Why don't we start with a preset? Let's go to, um, let's go to filter and do, here we go. And you can audition, uh, you, can, you can actually audition uh, presets in real time. Check it out. Got a lot of that crusher going on there. Let's go to Complex, Alien Visit. Maybe if you're into sound design, right? There you go. Let's go to, uh, I actually like this one. And then close it. Now you can adjust this uh, accordingly if you wanted. You could choose, change the, let's see. Yeah, you could change the slope. You can actually change the amount. Now remember, if you unlink them, then you can change them independently. Let's bring the drums in. Let's go back to the flux. Bring both tracks in with the drums. Oh, that is so cool. All right, we got time for another one. Let's just do one more here. Let's mute that, mute that, and let's go to this track. Let's check it out. Okay, now we haven't added anything yet. 
Let's go back to our presets, why not? And you'll see how many we have here. Transformation, let's start there. Oh, that is so beautiful. Here's without, and then, Now, some of you might be wondering, under user, let me go back to one of my presets here. This is a global preset that I made. Yes, look, it will save the variation of the 12 different note uh, triggers that you create. So some of you may be um, questioning that right now, wondering, but it's true. If you do create a global preset, it will also include the work that you do here, representing each one here. So if I wanted to add another one, I could come here to clean slate and I could do tonalizer, 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 tonalizer with a little bit of vinyl stop in between. And now it's in there. And if I want, I could just save that and add it to my preset. So effects tricks two is a real groundbreaking effects multi effects sequence you hear. Yes, it includes quite a number of different kind of effects and an easy grid system pattern for you to create the kind of effects you want, not only by laying them out on the grid, by adjusting here in the assignment, you can actually pick one, uh, let's say something like that, and you could choose the kind of behavior you want, plus the different effects control, even choosing parameters within those effects controls as well. And then of course you have your wet dry uh, fader here which is just absolutely so user-friendly and easy. You have randomizer, by the way, in the effects. Look at this, if I select this, it's randomizing the effects and I can return the effects to the initial operating original state. Let's randomize it. And keep randomizing. I'm just randomizing the effect here that I have selected, which is the tonalizer. If I wanted to randomize vinyl, select that and then choose randomize. It just gets better and better. And there you have it. So the best way obviously is to find out for yourself. We're taking a look at Effectrix 2 here by Sugar Bites, and it is just something that I know you're gonna be glad you have because it does replace a whole chain of inserts, a lot more traditional kind of effort put in to get what you can now easily achieve and have fun using at the same time. So dive right in, check it out for yourself today. My name's Carlo Libertini, everyone. Thank you, stay busy and stay creative. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Become part of our family here today and get access to over a thousand pro audio training tutorials at your fingertips. All right, dive right in, stay busy, stay creative, and thank you for watching.